Hello, oh, this is Rebirth of Legend here with another replay analysis. Uh, this is going to be a kind of different take replay analysis. It's me here on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a game of my own. Uh, I've made a lot of anti major videos, and uh, usually it's looking at other people's play and critiquing it. Uh, I want to show a game uh, where I'm playing and explain why I do everything I do, which I think would be pretty useful. Pretty useful to go over. Microphone's working, sorry, I had to check that. I feel like my volume is on. Oh, I know what the problem is. Well, I'm not gonna have audio for a little bit here. At least from me being able to hear stuff. So, in this game, I think it's a really good example, because I'm gonna end up against, like, a, an aggro dual lane. We'll be fine, let's party! Uh, I give a tango to my mid because I'm, I'm such a nice guy. Oh, Morty! Oh, it's about to start, Morty. Ah, oh, crap. That's gonna be feedbacking for you guys. I'm gonna lower it until I get this resolved. It's um, I have an ATI graphics card because of some weird bug. Actually, I'm gonna die here. Uh, because of some weird bug with ATI cards, opening up the volume mixer takes time. Apparently, it's really weird. So I'm actually gonna die here because I kind of want to fight for this rune. And I, so where I screw up is I skill this to trade. Um, Crystal Man takes the rune, which is fine. Like I don't really care if I get the rune or not. I'm trying to run. I turn back just to try and finish this guy off. I probably could have ran here and lived. Uh, he gets the final hit off and I die. Uh, overall, I, I say that's fine. Like I, I don't really care. It's a level one engagement. My supports got a lot from it, and I died. Shit happens. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, I really want this to be fixed so I can turn volume on. Because it feels weird to me looking at these without it. So, here, I have to be kind of careful. Because, like, once I get level 2, they can't kill me. But as you saw, at, like, level 1 without the blink. I'm gonna have trouble, a little bit of trouble here. It's like on me here, but like I can just I can just run away, and I've got a lot of regen, so it's not the biggest deal. I do a, a similar build you'll see in a lot of videos when I'm like a safe lane melee core, a tango, uh, bring protection start, and I buy a stab shield at the side shot. Finally, I got my speakers working. I think. Okay, I can turn this back on now. So sorry. Okay, let's go back and look at that again. They're trying to go on me again. I have, I have blink, so I can pull his snowball like really far out of where he actually wants to go. But I'm not really that scared. And the wyvern there is nice. <laughs> So I blinked forward because I was going to miss that creep if I didn't. I mean, you make judgment calls and do that. Just know when your blinks on cooldown, that's when they'll be able to threaten you. I don't think I'm, I'm CSing particularly well here. Um, it's definitely one of the things I'm weaker at. But, like, you'll see what I do in this lane to try and maximize CS because I've got a, this dumbass jungling crystal in. Uh, she started off with, like, 800 gold and just straight rushes and Midas. Which is fine, but I don't know what she does in the jungle to where it's not way faster than that. She gets at like six minutes, where you could probably jungle at at about that same time, even if you didn't start with a bounty rune, a free level two, and like first blood gold. <laughs> so whatever. They got for they killed yeah they killed both he killed both the Veno yeah he killed both the Veno and the Tusk at level one. So in all the videos I talk about aggro tricks, and I am gonna have to use them here at some point. See, so like, right there. Let's go back and just show that. So I don't want this to get, like, really far. I use this... Shit. Keep showing it slowly. So I click him, aggro the creeps, pull them towards me, which will also, like, kind of change the damage pattern that the creeps are getting. So if I think they're just going to die to 
Like, right now, I don't really care if the lane pushes either, because I, I don't accept that I'll be able to control this and get them out of experience, so there's no... I don't need to worry about maintaining creep equilibrium, because there's, there's no point. I could have bought a ring of health, but I didn't think I'd need it, because I had that guy. Uh, so I buy the poor man's shield and a calling blade to help my last hitting, and uh, help me with some of the damage. So I, I pull the creeps towards me, so it's easier for me to last hit them, and they can't threaten me as much. And it also, if I think I'm going to, like, miss a creep... It, forces, it changes the way they're taking damage from all the melees, so I probably only really have to calculate a range creep still hitting them. So it'll make it easier to set up a last hit, too. I think I'll do it a few more times in this. They ice shards me, I blink away. So I'm 1 1 1 in stats, because I want stats, it's going to help me jungling. It's going to make me a little more survivable, it's going to give me a little more damage. And when I'm tread swapping in the mid game, it's going to increase my mana pool and my regen. And it allows me to support basically blinking nonstop. See, I don't know what he did. He just did like a single pull, so it's kind of annoying. Fuck eye shards. I know I'm gonna miss that creep, so I just commit on right clicking that one. With my mana break, it should be three hits to kill it. I think. He's pretty low, so I can. I think I can go here and harass him. Uh, do they have boots right now? He has boots. I'm gonna click him and see. If he has boots. I think. Oh. I took it off my next, didn't I? I think I clicked him and saw he had boots, and that's when I turned away. I don't want to commit on doing aggressive stuff like that, because like each blink forward is taking me much farther away from where I really want to be, which is here farming. So this isn't like the easiest lane in the world. I, I don't think I'm at real kill threat, but they can definitely threaten my ability to creep. Because like right now, I only have... What's this per minute? 22 creeps at 5 minutes. Should probably have probably around 40 in a good lane. So I'm, I'm a little over half of where I should be. That guy's low, and like I could jump on him, but if I blink forward, then I can't blink backwards, if that makes sense. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but that, that's why I can't do that. Because if I blink forward, I can't blink backwards, and if Tusk TP's in or someone else TP's in, I can die there. If I blink forward on him, I'll also tank some tower damage. I, I, I can't be too sure that I'm actually going to kill him. You know, he's like level 4 and he has like 200 HP, it's still kind of iffy whether or not I'll be able to get that kill. So it's not worth taking that risk. So I'll just sit here, I'll take his little creep bros. Just won't even care. I screw that up again. I have like the ring of health, this, and a wyvern casually wandering around sometimes. So like, I'm not really scared that they'll be able to harass me too much. Cause like that's magical, that's pierce damage and then the dot's magical damage, it's not really going to do a whole lot to me. Cause pierce I think has reduced damage against heroes, but increased against buildings. Uh, I'm going to say that's true. So right now I'm going right into my treads. And once I have the treads I'll be able to jungle these camps and do the lane. And I'll just like ignore whoever's here, like I don't really care. Like if they want to sit here and just absorb EXP it's fine by me. So I can even start doing it right now. I have a bunch of tangos, I've got the ring of health on poor man's shield. I can start just pushing this to the tower. I don't know what that guy's doing here. So right now, I have 51 CS at 8 minutes. It's not the best, but considering the lane was aggressive and I kind of screwed up a little bit of last hitting, it was pretty, it was pretty good. So I just want to take note, like right here, is what I was doing to deal with the lane is uh, like I did some aggro tricks, and I, overall I just played safe. Like I don't get really aggressive with the blinks. That's the only way I'm gonna die. I just need to use blinks defensively, and I don't think our kill potential on them is that great. I don't think we killed them after that, right? One one. Yeah. Th now the enemy is like losing other lanes right here. Like, we didn't lose this lane. They put they put a lot into this lane to apply pressure, right? So they put the Tusk and the Veno, which means that they have a Doom solo in the offlane that they that they have to contend with, who's not really having a problem, and is able to apply immense pressure. So because they didn't have the Veno up top, that Doom is able to do a lot more than he should be able to. Um, not that he, I mean, Doom's really strong right now, so he probably wouldn't have been able to do a whole lot, but, uh, yeah, it should have been the SF mid. So our, our mid player is pretty good, and was beating the crap out of their SF, as you can tell by the farm. I think there might have been some ganks there, that I'm not really paying attention to, because I'm just looking at my perspective, 
and like top's going pretty well because it's like a 2v1 against a doom and people who can't really like stop him too well or harass him but like that's because they, they they wanted to get a lot out of this lane they wanted to pressure me and it just didn't work so we have the treads now and we're going to do the same pattern for quite a bit of time so push that to the tower the creeps are going to meet at the tower and their creeps are going to kill mine I jungle this camp I look right here to see what's happening my fucking doom's feeding because he sucks he, he's a friend of mine he's fucking around uh, but it does suck I think I missed a creep there so I guess I really can't talk too much something here I, I could have bought a bassy and the bass here would let me push this tower a little harder, but I don't really... The reason I don't do it, and I talk about a lot in my videos about why it's valuable to have that, is because I'm intending to go back to the jungle, so the bassy won't actually be affecting those too much. Oh, this is this is cutesy. I, uh, I don't even think I do it that efficiently. I'm going to use the illusions to creep the lion. So I can just straight jungle for this time, which is pretty nice. Do my illusions kill this tower? I, I don't think they do. So I'm like microing the illusions to like creep and last hit in lane. Then it lets me jungle this. See, killing that camp is costing me a lot of HP because it's a stacked hard camp. So I usually tell my supports to not stack these two camps early on because it's going to cost me a lot of HP. The reason why it's not that bad right now is because I also have the tangles, the tangos to supplement my regen. So what I'm doing is I'm now maxing blink. So I have three levels of stat. I go one on one, three levels in stats, then max blink. I do this in 95% of my games. Occasionally I might get an extra level of mana break. Uh, in some matchups, maybe I'll max blink early, or I'll get an extra level in spell shield. Like against, if I'm going to be winning a dark seer, I might want a little extra, an extra level in spell shield early on over stats. But it's very, very rare where I'll want something over stats. So they're TPing, and I just leave. It was a Venomancer. I'm not necessarily scared of Venomancer, but I don't know who else might be there. So it's something you have to think about. Is he soloing? Or what? Okay, I got a DV rune solo Roshan. That's cool. I'm looking at the two. So you go back to farming. So keep in mind, I, uh... Because at, like, eight minutes, I had, like, 55 creeps. Five minutes later... I've gotten 75 more CS, and I'm almost at 10 CS a minute right now, and that's just from doing this rotation. And I'm still like, I still put the effort into making sure I'm applying pressure all the way up here, so someone has to respond. Because that Venom coming down here means that Venom's not up here, and now he just has to walk back. Like, where is he going now? Let's see where this Venom went. Hey, he's just walking back. A TP bottom to then just walk middle. It's like okay, like you didn't slow my, you didn't slow what I want to do at all. Uh, now I go straight into Vlad's. I make sure to creep cut here so my creeps can hit this with impunity. I blink to this just for the sake of getting more creeps. At this point, I know this game is going really well. Like, yeah, I died one time, but now my farm's out of control. My death was at the very beginning, like arguably like the least impactful point in the game. Like, it didn't really matter if I died there, and my death served a lot for my team. Finish my bassy. Get the headdress delivered. This will help me push a little more, but I'm gonna have the Vlads really soon too. It's like my team doing well definitely like helps this game, but I, I just want to put an emphasis on this isn't just like my team doing well. It's uh, me handling my lane well and still getting stuff out of. Because imagine if like I got shut down and I had like 10 creeps in 10 minutes or something, and then I didn't know how to recover like this. Like, yeah, my team would be doing good, but where's the follow through? Maybe I'll show up at a fight and clean up pretty well. I'm not really gonna focus on this because I, I don't think it's that important. Like that's just like I'm I'm kind of over here because I'm farming and I see there's a fight and I look and I see that I can help so I go over get a nice little mana void off and then I continue jungling because there's a crystal main like low mana means nothing between tread 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 switching and the CM or I uh, can't even talk. Uh, I'm gonna be full everything and then I almost hit the Vlad so my health is my health being full is pretty much a guarantee after this camp it should be full. Yeah, pretty much full. Didn't even, I don't even think I got an assist on that. Yeah, this LC is super far behind. Like, LC is kind of scary as I am, but it's like, it really depends like what they're doing. I was on intro, and I switched back there. So 
something you probably want to be able to observe. Just for that like little bit faster killing of it. The whole team gets wiped here. Uh, here, I know we're in really good shape. and I'm at over 10 CS a minute. I've got 200 CS at 18 minutes. And uh, I think I decide after this Manta that I'm just going to try and get as much farm as humanly possible. And doing this can be okay in like other games. So I'm going to rush Boots of Travel after I finish this Manta. Well, not rush, but I'm, I'm going to get them right afterwards. And what that's going to let me do is push much more aggressively and like farm more aggressively and utilize farm on both sides of the map. So if you really, really want to like create a personal creeping record, then this is the way to do it. Oh, they're stacking ancients for me? Oh, this is great. I never have people do this for me. I was so enthused. This isn't a group I usually play with. They're like two European players. This is a five stack game, by the way. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that. Yeah, so like I'm still pushing this really hard. I don't want to get caught by the dual combo, so I'm not going much further up because they can smoke that. But like they're gonna have to respond to this creep wave, and I think it would become really obvious if they're not showing anywhere. So I can TP over to here, push in this lane again. I'm probably gonna push one more wave, use my manta to push rest of it, and then jump jump to the hard camp here. So now I'm at 260 CS at 20 minutes. Like, look at that. I mean, it's been 15 minutes I think I've put together over 200 CS, and I've been pressuring towers, and I've been kind of contributing in kills. I haven't just been AFK farming. I've been contributing quite a bit. So I get the travels right now, which are what are going to let me just push everywhere. It makes you a little faster too, which also helps with your ability to uh, farm. I send the Manta Illusions to keep pushing the line. I have the CM aura, so it's not a big deal. Uh, generally I'd say go on to your intrads when you're Mantaing. I don't think it's really worth the extra 9 Agi for the mana cost, because if you're going to be using that, you're going to be kind of running low on mana if you're doing that kind of a lot. So, it, it definitely having the CM help me do it here, but you can still do it. Um, you can still do it if you don't have a Crystal Maiden. So my whole jungle's farmed out. I go here, I'm going to push this wave, probably Manta, push this, TP to the other side of the map. Yep. So here I'm just like, oh, I'm going to sit on a personal record. I want to beat that. I want to get over a thousand GPM, which is my goal. I farm those two, jump back over to here. Now every one of the lanes is pushing super hard. So now it's 23 minutes, I have 330 creeps. I'm like, I'm not doing anything super fancy or super complicated. CM's getting off ults. Does she even have an axe? Yes, yeah, she does. So I'm still getting stats right now, you know, so I don't have my mana or my spell shield leveled. I don't really feel I need it, the stats is going to help more, but I do have the mana break max because I have a manta and that's going to help me get kills. So once again, I said manta to keep pushing that lane and to pressure the tower and whatever. And I'll auto this down. I see one person there, there could be more to follow, I leave. I start building a butterfly now. Kill this nice jungle stack that I think my support did for me, I don't think that's something they had. Uh, I could solo Roshan right now. I don't know if it's up or not. I don't think I see it on the mini map. Well, I know in game I wouldn't see it on the mini map unless I'm in there. This fucking guy. I probably could save the mana void there, but I want—I didn't want to have to go much deeper for that. Nothing really to talk about with those skills. I mean, I just rotated because my doom was clinically out of position. Piece of crap. Um, yeah, and just, they they put me in the thing here. He's trying to duel me. I actually win this duel for the crystal man. No, I don't win the duel for. Yeah, the blade mail. So I didn't want to damage myself, which is probably greedy. I think I could have probably won the duel for, but she wasn't at risk of dying, so I didn't really care that much. Go back to split pushing. Like I even travel over from top lane to middle just to push this a little quicker. So at 26 minutes, I have 400 CS. <laughs> so like, one thing I'll kind of like stop and like try and point out. Oh. 
I guess we do have to stop since the game's almost over. Is I um I definitely like I want the travels purposely to try and like set a CS record. I was like, ah, hey, let's do it. We're in like really good shape. I don't necessarily need like super combat items, but it can still be legit. If you're like really far behind, it can also be a thing to do because it can let you prolong the game. Like I can travel into a lane right here instead of to where my towers are. I can go to wherever my creep wave is, I can push it really hard, I can blink and creep cut more aggressively, and I'll have a TP every 45 seconds to like change where I'm pushing. Uh, if you're worried that someone's going to be able to gank you, like let's say this this guy was going like really out of control, clearly he didn't this game, but like, let's say he had like 100 damage at like, I don't know, like 15 minutes or something like that, and he has a, he's a shadow blade, and it's a giant pain in the ass, and he can, he can kill you pretty easily. Um, whew. Uh, you can get travels and then just try and stay a step ahead of him. Like, I'll start pushing this lane. Okay, he should be trying to respond to me. I'll travel over to here, farm out their jungle. He'll be thinking I probably went back to the woods, which won't be true. I'll show him the lane a few seconds later, start pushing the lane, and right and right about the time I start pushing that, I can jump into the woods, and then my travel should be up, and I can go back to the other side of the map. And, like, the Legion will just be caught, like, looking both ways and, and hopefully never catching me, but... Like, you could get caught every once in a while, but that's how you have to play against, like, a really fed hero like him. Because you can't get caught, and you want to be still split-pushing. Like, you can't not split-push, otherwise there's no point in playing anti-mage. It's a huge part of the hero, and yeah, it's scary with the LC, but, yeah, like, you have, to, you have to do it anyway. And, like, the travels will let you stay, like, a step ahead of that guy. Which would be a really good way to approach it. Um, yeah, so I don't necessarily say you need to get travels after you're fully six slot, like you could definitely get these and they'll get you more farm and let you split much, much more aggressively. Which is really nice. So here, once again, just clowning, trying to get more CS. Blink here is I get the ancients. Man to that. Oh a nice little illusion. Run. And the game's over. So like the reason I wanted to like show this game is just because I think it showed uh farming patterns in like a decent game. Like, you saw how my farm just blew up. Even before I had my battle fairy, my farm was increasing massively after the 7 minute mark. So we got to 8 minutes, and I had 50 CS, and then we got to like 15 minutes, and I was at almost 150. Uh, which means I tripled my CS over the course of 7 minutes. Which is like quite a, quite a big jump. I mean, I'm sure there's players who can do it better, more efficiently. Like I'm not saying, oh, I'm the best player in the world or anything. It's just like that's something you have to like learn to do, and uh, like watching that can be kind of helpful. Um, another thing was how to deal with the aggressive lane. Is just by you know taking it one step at a time, making sure they don't get too much from it. Like we didn't, we fed one. I fed one kill early on, and my supports got a lot for it. Cool, that was a good trade. They didn't kill anyone else in the rest of that lane. And uh, they went on me a few times to harass me, and I just blinked away. Like, once I was level 2, they couldn't kill me in that lane. And I, unless I do something stupid. So the goal is not to do something stupid. Uh, then once we got through it, I just told my support, hey, you can go do whatever you want now. You can go do whatever you want now, because I'm totally fine. And then I just start doing the jungle rotations, because I'm just going to keep pushing the creep wave. And someone could be there, someone could not be there. Either way, I don't I don't particularly care. Their offlaner can get free experience for gold if they can last it under tower well. And if they get really low, like let's say it was a Veno there. Well, I guess he'd have words, so probably not the best example. Let's say uh, like a Marana or something. It's like a, someone sitting in that offlane. She'll probably take a bit of creep damage, and if I keep pushing to the tower, she's going to keep having to take that creep damage in order to get last hits. Um, and eventually she's probably going to get kind of low. Maybe she'll drop a few nukes, and I might be able to, like, if I'm full HP, maybe I'll feel confident I'll blink onto her once my blink is, like, a little higher level, which it should be getting at that point. Maybe I can blink on her and hit her a couple times to get a nice mana void and get a kill. Like, that, that's definitely a possibility in those games, too. I don't know why this guy... I guess he was building a Dagon. It's kind of silly. But I guess the game is over anyway. But yes, yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you definitely want to, as an anti-mage, you want to know those farming patterns. Uh, probably skill pretty much exactly like that every game. Uh, with very, very few exceptions. I think the only way I max blink early is if I'm 1v1ing a bat rider, which isn't something you come across a lot. That was something I did a few times, like, oh, a year and a half, two years ago, when the hero was still relevant. Um, 
the spell shield you might want to get an extra level in it only against the dark seer under no circumstance would i get it early against anyone else even if it was a zeus i probably wouldn't get it early i don't i still only get the one level the it's the iron shell just does so much damage though like even with even with one level spell shield it's a, it's a lot to handle um and the extra mana break is against someone like an undying who might get arcane boots and have a decent sized mana pool against the timber saw that's pretty good uh, anyone who you want to apply a little more pressure to, like that harass, like the extra level on it can help quite a lot. I, I still wouldn't go past that, I don't think it's worth maxing early, uh, but two levels can, can give you like the right amount of aggression. But like each game you just have to feel out, like does it feel right? And it, if you don't think so, then just get stats, um, which is usually the, the best way to approach that. I don't know, when does Doom get Greaves, get Tranquils, I guess he still tranks for Greaves, but whatever. Um, hope that helps with any aspiring anti-mage players most fun here on Dota, right? Um, if you have any questions, feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, cool.